Welcome back, everybody, to the fourth episode in our Sobar Social Throwback Thursday. Woo! We're here to bring you the very best from the Sobar archives. And with a slightly new twist on this week's show, we're going to be projecting ourselves in the future to the Fast Forward Fridays. And what we've done there is we've put a shout out to the whole community to provide us some excellent content, and we have got exactly that. Three tracks coming up from some independent artists at the Nottingham community, and we're really looking forward to that. For the beginning of the show, we're going to have the main man, Miggy Angel, behind the Door Die Poets, doing his thing. And then we're going to move in to a open mic night we had in 2018. So, without further ado, please take it away, Miggy Angel. <laughs> Be sorted by bullet, cause boy no bullet got what he ain't got. Bullet, bullet got license to traffic. Boy, boy got feet set rock solid in concrete spot upon the static estate. Bullet, bullet got no tires to notion of station. Bullet, bullet got no navel, no lineage. Bullet, bullet orphan, unencumbered, move solo. Hollowed soul offers aerosleep properties. Bullet. Bullet fly low. Bullet dive wide. Bullet grey sky bruise moonbeams. Bullet. Bullet chat smart. Emit one note. Harbour its wolf. Bullet. Silent in court. Silent in court. Bullet. Dapper dot on the map. Got silver hat. Ghost starched overcoat. Streamlined approach. Bullet, bullet not negotiate nothing. Bullet sing song of wind. Leave simpleton sons listless in bullet slipstream. Bullet, bullet summon smoke. Apprentice of God, sire of science. Bullet marshals nuff nuisance. Boy, beatified by bullet. Boy, boy best befriend this beautiful colonel. Boy. Boy straddles projectile. Boy whips buckshot speed. Wields the weather of his steel. Boy, boy adds flesh, affixes thunder. Transmutes these streets at bullet's behest. Bullet, bullet extraterrestrial. Alchemical angel. Material minister. Mineral priest. Breeds magic from blood. Boy, bullet. Bullet and boy orchestrate music. Mutate flesh. Stitch, still stopper in mouth, or forever silenced, forever forgotten men. Bullet got what he ain't got. shock to this protagonist is the cognition of concrete becoming replete in the nascent consciousness. This barbaric cityscape shakes off the remnants of a barbiturate sleep. Awaken the beast as alleyway aches demonstrate reach of this septic hurt. Still husks honk dirge of their debris. Thus disrupts lung tracks with live shards of detritus. Epileptic drummer brings nuisance to skins over dustbins. Whole city in unison spasm of spastic limbs, bones, spirits, elastic on asphalt toxicities. Curbs heaving with heat, perturb unprepared denizens. The soles of our feet like saints who worship the charred earth. Toes are pious translators of pavements. We sneak with a lunatic stealth. Metropolis creepers keep close to the labyrinth path as we mooch these coordinates. We slip in the pursuit of the prescient moment. 
past the mouthpiece of doubt to the precipice of neglect. Neon midnight negotiates armistice. A hesitant truce thrust upon urban militants never materialises in substance. God's touch is atomic. God's taste is atomic. God's breath is atomic. God's word is atomic. God's touch is atomic. God's taste is atomic. God's truth is atomic. God's kiss is apocalypse. Sick with abandonment, stick to the canvas. An abdication of meaning is mooted but never articulated. Architecture reneges on the rumour of its presence. Promises break open upon communal malpractices. A species of mistrust proliferates. And that was the amazing Miggy Angel with Wee Bleed Ink and Bullet Boy and God's Kiss. Him and Johnny Boy Freer, his partner in crime, are an amazing duo, and we're just waiting until they release more tracks as to here. Right, ladies and gentlemen, right now we're going to go back into our archives to 2018, where we had an open mic night for the Brilliant Books crew. Mark and Phil are the main men behind the Brilliant Books from the Nottingham Free School. That's where essentially anybody can learn to write, compose, and communicate their written work. So, without further ado, the Brilliant Books crew from 2018. To be or not to be, that is the question. No, no, I can't, I can't do Shakespeare. That's, that's <coughs> awful, isn't it? So, uh, that Valentine's Day last week, roses are red, violets are blue. Mm, no, that's too cheesy too. So what I'll do, let's do something more original. <coughs> last year alone, this year with you, what was for one is now made for two. Last year without joy, this year, Full of hope. What was pale is now rich, happy, not broke. Last year was quiet. This year music plays. What was bleak is now dancing all our days. And all this, this love makes me think about weddings and parties. Do you remember when you need to kind of get into that dress or in that suit? Do you, do you ever feel like you just want to have the munchies? Well, when I have the munchies, I really have the munchies. I want to munch, and no, I don't want celery. I want to munch, but nothing that is sugar-free. I want to munch. I don't care about the calories. I want to munch, and I don't care if I get chubby cheeks. I want to munch on crisps, sweets, and chocolate cake. I want to munch, and I'm sick of what the government says. I can munch as long as I have my weekly ways. I can munch as long as I exercise on some days. So I'm going to munch and enjoy every single bite. Because when I munch, I'll just ride out on my bike. So you know I'm talking about cake, and most of you know I'm a bit of a foodie and I like cake. Really like cake. But what's your favorite? Traditional sponge with jam and sprinkled icing. Lemon drizzle with a splash of cream, brownie with triple chocolate chunks, carrot cake with cream cheese truss frosted dream, a pudding perhaps with hot yellow custard, oh, New York cheesecake drizzled with a coulis, waffles with ice cream and cinnamon, or fruit torte with a blob of mascarpone. So many choices, I've not mentioned all the rest, and still to decide, with a drink, what could be best? Thank you. <laughs> Stella now had a smile on her face. Little did Dan know that the ridiculous present 
that he thought he had brought out of spite would now literally be used against him. She focused on the satisfying feel of the smooth red plastic surface with a distinctive sil silver emblem. The excitement of discovering each handy gadget, metal knives, tweezers, nail clippers galore. Stella pondered on which tool would be the weapon of choice. Little tabs nestled in the handle, almost inconspicuous to the untrained eye. The gray tab revealed a miniature pair of metal tweezers. So small, it was hard to believe it was possible to grip and tease with any precision. The cream tab revealed a slender, angled slice of plastic. It was a celebration of ingenious design. She remembered feeling reassured that she could rescue stray organic matter from maceration with a handy toothpick. Would her life ever be the same again, or would this simple shard of plastic fade into insignificance? Much the same as her relationship with Dan. Her favourite tool by far was a sexy and shapely looking clip and clever hinge with a mirrored stainless steel effect. An exquisite piece of modern design for a nail clipper. Not quite hoop friendly, but certainly applicable to a delicate fingernail. Stella began to clip her nails in triumph and celebrated by tweezing her eyebrows. She felt liberated as she muttered to herself, if I die today, I have been true to myself. Hello, everybody. Um, I've never appeared in a fish tank before, but uh, I'm pleased to be here tonight. Um, my name is Steve. Um, I wasn't quite sure what sort of thing to read out. I've never done this before, um, but I'll give it a go. Um, the piece I'm going to read out is called Gardening, so it connects rather nicely with the, the, the previous speaker. <laughs> It's not too long. Okay, I've timed it. It's about three and a half minutes. Uh, <coughs> gardening. My dad grew stuff. There were cucumbers in cold frames, potatoes in rows, beans on frames, and strawberries under netting. He kept him out in the garden on Sundays, and he'd sweat, exuding that smell I wasn't sure if I liked or I didn't. He worked hard, pushing his spade through the tensions of the soil, and when he'd done enough for the time being, He'd come in and drink pale ale from his glass bottom tankard. His mouth worked at the beer, greedy for its refreshment. Sometimes I had a shandy. The summer was his favourite time, and he'd be out there long after sunset with only late roosting blackbirds and moths for company. It wasn't clear to my mum or me what he was doing. The time for avoiding playing football with me had long passed, but the outside light burned long. During the bright hours of the day and witnessing all his endeavours, I fretted and flickered around him, inquiring about plants, taking wheelbarrow folds to the compost heap, letting worms slide over my fingers, and thinking distractedly about fishing. He often had stuff to burn and encouraged me to build bonfires in hearths constructed of spare bricks and sheets of asbestos for safety. I loved this part and begged potatoes off my mum to torture in the base of the fire. Sometimes when I forgot about them, they would actually cook. I did have one gardening talent, though. I could water. Water with the steel watering can for the flowers in the front garden, and water with the hose for the rest. The hose was the best, an endless supply of water, and a remit easily able to take in the furthest reaches of the garden. I experimented fearlessly with ways of delivering my contribution to his work, and although he would occasionally object to my more extreme methods, he generally let me get on with it. And let me get on with it is exactly what he did when it came to the question of building a tree house. On one thing he was adamant. I wasn't to build it in the silver birch. Far too flimsy, he thought. But I could use the rowan at the front. Prior to the construction, I had big ideas. Grand designs which I committed to paper, and he considered without comment. However, due to some restriction in available height, the house turned out to be no more than a platform. I wasn't disappointed, though. I could climb up there from the front gate and, when the time of the year allowed, drop red berries on passers-by. So we had different ideas, me and my dad, about gardens. He was scientific and calculating. I was romantic and crass, but we rubbed along.
My dad died when he was 62, and the garden was unfinished. And after he had died, it grew wild and untended, until eventually the house was sold and its guardianship passed on. It does not really matter that it was unfinished. That was never the point for either him nor me. What he grew there we ate or admired, and what he plotted there possibly remains in outline, or it doesn't. His legacy is not the landscape he altered, nor the ground he shifted, nor even the plants that strutted briefly upon the earth. It's certainly not the money from his will, which is long spent and has returned nothing of worth. His legacy is one I'm only just realizing now as I think back to those days of endless sunshine. The garden was, in fact, the true arena of our relationship, the place where we performed the roles of head gardener and under gardener until we became father and son. the last one, it's called Ode to Root Vegetables. Carrot, I want to enter in, sudden step into all around orange. You're bright, you're here, step into carrot now. Snowman nose, cool snapper, thick finger, mysterious triangle, juicy root with your fresh green hair. There is nothing sadder than your bendy presence in a plastic drawer. Parsnip, I want to be your friend. Many-haired wanderer, hairy as spider's legs, hairy as dog's ears, like the whiskers on my own face. Thin, sweet, stretchy, kind, white. You are my finger, widened by illness. You are Jack Frost's leg. Take your feathery root and grow straight in a field without stones. Turn it with your globes of richness, eminently sensible and eminently strange. Symphony of flavour often ignored, notes on a dulled harp. Fresh grassy cow breath which gives utter joy, bitter root unbelievably hard, resisting all persuasion to make this easy. Emergent stumps of almost wood facing me with bare face, turnip selfhood. Potatoes, you are growing with enormous energy, spuds from mud, magic. And curl your clothes on the kitchen side to reveal a body almost as pure as the driven snow. Fingers slide over soapy skin, over angular surfaces, like a fancy new piece of architecture, suddenly become ordinary chips. Or thrown into pans of water, clouds of starch puff out high above my head. My only delivered sermon about the earthy inevitability of beetroot. Wet taste on cave walls, streaked with iron ore. Smooth purple, cold, damp moon, difficult planet. Enormous doubt and knowing held together in one delicate sphere of night and day. Finished purple blood you seem unafraid to shed. Root vegetables, I have seen muddy heaps of you abandoned in farmyards. Your answer is a smell of silent determination you are rooty bliss, bulbous life, aliens planted under my feet. Not like cats who live by leaping, you are secret moles with noses tucked into mucky earth. I will cherish you like roses. And that was the amazing, brilliant books crew there who uh, came down to join us at the Soul Bar in 2018 to do their, essentially what was an open mic, but people reading from works they've created in the brilliant books, free school sessions. Amazing work there. So, again, without further ado, what we've got now, because we've been really happy with all the content we've got in our archives, and really happy that as guys are working together and getting stuff out there, we've actually spread our net far and wide out to the community to see see who else wants to get involved with us here at Sobar. So, and we've got two lucky people, or victims, depending on how you want to term it, who have sent their stuff in and we're going to play it because we love it. So first we've got Chosen G with Oblivious, that's featuring Tatiana Grace and Marcus Gonzalez, and then she's got another track straight after that with Know Me. So, Chosen G, take it away and thank you. i 
We oblivious. We oblivious. We just focus. Yes, yes. They just know this. They just know this. We get all this. Yes, we do. Used to flip the zips. Used to flip the zips. I'm always getting texts. Always getting texts. My flow just the best. Yes, yes. They all know we next. Hey. Pull over, be the pot. Pull over, be the pot. Rising to the top. Rising to the top. They hating, but they fly. Hating, but they fly. We know we got it lot. Yeah. Trippin' like a mop, trippin' like a mop. I ain't have a lot, I ain't have none. I'm chasing to that guap, chasing to the guap. And I won't never stop. Oblivious, we're oblivious to the outside world. Oblivious, we're oblivious to the outside world. It's really serious the way I stay oblivious. oblivious. No competition, I'ma always flow the prettiest. The prettiest. My dude was stupid and my buddy is the silliest. I'm uh. executing. From my inner world experience yep. I shut the world out I turn the lights out I learned how to navigate From my nights out nights It's like out. a never ending space With no flights out Taking a trip to within Is the right we're route We're oblivious We're oblivious To the outside world A lot of people think they know me Think they know me Think they know me It's kind of funny They can't show me They can't show me They can't show me Cause they don't really know me And that was Chosen G there, some amazing work from a wonderful human being out in the community who sent her stuff in for us to, and for you, more importantly, to enjoy. As we said, folks, it's an open call for submissions. If you send them into inquiries at Sobar, or if you check out our social media channels and drop us a line, we'll look at your work, we'll have a listen, we'll have a play, and we'll get it out there for you, because we're loving the feedback we've got so far from Nottingham. And again, our next uh, talented person coming up is a young woman called The Shipping Forecast, who is a poet from Nottingham and sent her work in last week. So, please, without further ado, The Shipping Forecast. The McDonald's One Night Stand. Dirty McDonald's meal, a saucy secret. Fast food drug deal, brown bag concealment. Hungover accountants seeking salt. Hooded man mountains, 
with diets to halt. Youths casually litter, oversized windows full of smears. They're younger and fitter, without reputation or fears. Cars circle and pounce, vacant, salad splattered spaces, coveting every ounce, tongs removing traces. Napkins blow in the wind, ketchup stains like blood, straws that should have been binned, sprinkled all over the neighbourhood. Ah, tastes so good, yet simultaneously bad. I'd stop if I could, cos for the cows I feel sad. Then so quickly it's all over, empty containers in hand, my stomach's in clover. Behold the McDonald's one night stand. That was the shipping forecast there, an amazing piece of work I think you'll find, and especially in this uh, new era we live in and McDonald's being reopened, I'm sure a lot of people are really happy with that, uh, me not personally, I go to the soap bar where I'm going to eat my food, uh, but yeah, an amazing piece of work there from the shipping forecast, and we're going to contribute that to the BBC Upload website as well, so you may hear that on BBC Radio Nottingham very soon. Now, next up, we have the final contribution to our Fast Forward Fridays. We're very good at tongue twisters around here at Sobar. Uh, this gentleman has get, got in touch from the open call for submissions. Uh, it's a cracking track, change from our norm here, but uh, I'll let you hear the surprise that we had when we first heard it. So without further ado, analog, electric, whatever, with hole. And that was Analog, Electric, Whatever, with Hole. Uh, a surprise to us, it was a surprise to you. It's not usually our normal stock and trade, if there is such a thing at Sobar, but we love the track and we hope you did too. 
As I said, that was brought to us after our shout out for open submissions, which we're readily accepting from next week again. And we're looking for brand new talent to come to Sobar and play live when we do reopen. So we hope you'd uh, like to send your work into us because we really appreciate it. That's it for this week, my friends. Uh, this has been brought to you by Sobar, Double Impact and Studio House. All the last two are charities, so they need vital donations to keep the work going that they're doing here and in the community. So remember that, Studio House, Double Impact, we need your money. So thank you very much for your time, your attention and your good graces. And we'll see you very soon. This is Sobar, Throwback Thursday, signing out.